Good morning you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever. I know it's only been like two weeks since I've actually like picked up the camera and vlogged, but that genuinely feels like forever for me because I love hanging out with you guys. So I'm just gonna take you around with me for the day today. I'm gonna show you like all the recipes that I'm eating, pretty much like a health vlog. You guys know it's the beginning of the year. I've been very motivated and just like inspired to have recipes that make me feel good. So that's kind of the vibe for today's video. I'm currently making myself some breakfast. Coco is right below me but I'm doing a Greek yogurt parfait. I'm back on my Greek yogurt parfait grind. I feel like I always go through random intervals in my life where I'm obsessed with Greek yogurt. I don't know why, but I just love having it in the morning. I also have some mango, some banana, and then I'm also gonna put some cinnamon and honey on top, so I'm gonna make that right now. And then also I have a coffee cup because I'm gonna make myself a coffee with my Nespresso machine, which I freaking love. of chopping a mango is doing this little like I don't even know how to explain this but you slice it horizontally and vertically and then you flip it inside out so it pops out like this it's so much easier to cut it this way okay I'm gonna eat this over here I also just did a 15 minute clean I feel like our apartment looks so cute also ignore the coffee table over there I'll explain but I'm gonna have this for breakfast. Hi, we have a little friend next to us, but my plan for the day today is actually to go to the gym before Hunter has school. If you've been keeping up with my podcast, then you heard my little life update in my last episode, which Hunter is going back to school, which means I'm gonna be home a lot more and like alone a lot more, which I don't love that. I'm not the most independent person, but I feel like it might be good for me. So anyway, I'm gonna try and get my workout in before Hunter leaves. So he leaves at one, it's like 9 a.m. So it's not that big of a deal. Let's give it a bite with everything. Normally I also like to add almond butter, but we're actually out. Usually I like to have a protein, carb, and fat for breakfast. Pretty much every single meal, I just know that that's like the combination that's really gonna keep me satiated and full, and also I'm gonna go work out this morning, so I wanna make sure that I'm actually fueled for my workout. I forgot how good this was. Okay, we're sitting on the floor because I'm putting on my workout shoes that are so freaking dirty. I'm actually really excited to go to the gym today. I had such a good workout yesterday. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I've just been very, very motivated this year for like my New Year's resolutions. I know a lot of people don't like that word. To me, it's just like the fact that I have goals and I'm just like very motivated in that aspect. So yeah, I'm very excited to go to the gym. I don't really have a plan for the day today. I've been kind of loving just picking like a workout. Usually I do like Sammy Clark workouts, Sonny Valette. Whitney Simmons, like there's a lot of influencers where I love following their workouts. That's what I'm gonna do today. But yeah, I feel like I've just been feeling very strong in the gym, like physically and also mentally. Like working out for me just puts me in such a good headspace. And if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you know how important like mental health is to me. And obviously like the whole point of my channel is to promote to you guys to become the best version of yourself and inspire you to do that. And you can't do that physically without doing it mentally, in my opinion. So I thought today was a perfect video to talk about BetterHelp. BetterHelp is actually sponsoring today's video, which I'm so excited about. So yeah, in 2022, I really do want to focus on my mental health even more than I already have. And one of the best ways for me to actually follow through with my mental health goals is to work with a licensed professional. With BetterHelp, you can actually access their network of over 20,000 licensed therapists. It's actually not a crisis line or self-help. It's professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp is actually going to assess your needs and match you with a professional licensed therapist if you guys have ever experienced like looking for a therapist in your area you know it can take like weeks or even months to even get like a phone call back with better help you can actually start communicating within the first 48 hours i thought that was so cool also better help is available for clients worldwide you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist you'll get a timely thoughtful response plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't have to ever sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as traditional therapy you do 
do. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and also they have financial aid if needed. BetterHelp and I want you to start living a happier life today. You guys can visit betterhelp.com slash Caitlin. That's better H-E-L-P and join the two million other people taking charge of their mental health with the help of a experienced professional. If you guys take away anything from my channel, just know that it's you deserve to take care of your mental health and you guys can get 10% off if you visit betterhelp.com slash Caitlin. Thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Okay, since we were out of almond butter this morning and I didn't have any fat in breakfast, I got hungry faster today. So I'm actually having another snack before I go work out. I've been loving having hard boiled eggs. I can show you guys maybe in like a TikTok how I do my hard boiled eggs because I love when they come out like perfect like this in the middle. I'm also having a sumo orange. So this is my little pre-workout snack. workout intermission because Hunter literally scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I create scenarios in my head. It's part of my anxiety. I'm working on it. But I was like texting him asking which thumbnail looked the best. I'll put a video of the screen how many times I texted him. And then I was on the treadmill and I was like, wait, he honestly hasn't replied in like 30 minutes. And I made up this entire thing in my head that Coco and Hunter were in danger. So I came back upstairs. I'm sweaty, but thank God you're <laughs> I did another Sammy Clark workout. It was such a good workout. I actually did this last week and I really liked it. So I did it again this week. I'm happy. Let's go eat. Okay, back from the gym. As you guys saw, I did like a very hard workout today. My arm is like shaking right now. Also, I just look a little bit crazy, but I'm about to make some lunch right now. I'm so hungry. If you guys watched the video right before this, it was like a meal prep video. So you would know that I have a bunch of meal prep in my fridge, which I'm obviously very excited about because I don't feel like cooking right now. So I'm gonna do sweet potato nachos. I kind of just have to throw everything together. And I'm also gonna make lunch for Hunter. He hates sweet potato or any potato in general. So I'm just gonna make his into like a burrito bowl, which is kind of a good point because if you watch one of my meal prep videos or you like see one of my recipes and there's something in it that you don't like, like just change it up and try and find something to switch it out with because pretty much every single meal that I make is very easy to like swap things out. So I just just threw together the sweet potato nachos and then also I made his into a bowl. Doesn't look the cutest right now, but I just did a bunch of toppings on the top. So we have sweet potato, bell peppers, onions, corn, pico de gallo, avocado. I did some of the spicy cashew dressing from Trader Joe's. I think that that's everything. If you haven't tried sweet potatoes with taco meat, it's such a random but good combo. It's honestly one of my favorite meals. I never get sick of it and it's so easy to meal prep. If you guys want the meal prep recipe, it's in the video right before this, like I said. But I'm literally so excited to eat this right now. Down, Coco. Good girl. We just got a new coffee table for the living room, but it hasn't come in yet. It's supposed to come in today. The base of it is like this, and then it's gonna be a circle marble table. I'm praying that you guys see that in today's vlog, because it said it was supposed to be delivered yesterday, but it wasn't, only this was delivered. So I'm thinking that the other half is gonna come today. Hopefully, because I'm so excited to get it. Our living room just doesn't feel complete. But now that I've worked out, had my lunch, I'm actually just gonna go shower, do a little bit of self-care. Also, when Hunter gets home from school, I might go get my nails done. They look absolutely tragic. So yeah. Okay, it's a little bit later. I actually don't remember the last time that I vlogged. I think it was when I was making lunch, but obviously I've showered now, got ready for the day. It's like 2 p.m. Hunter's gonna help me put out the new coffee table. I'm so excited. <laughs> Final product of our cute little coffee table. Obviously we need to add like a lot more accent colors and stuff in here, but I think it looks so cute. I'm obsessed with it. And I also feel like it's gonna be so cute for like my foodie pics when I put 
like my smoothie bowl or whatever on here to take a Instagram story. I'm so excited. Obviously, it's little things that get me very excited. My abs are already so sore from the workout that I did this morning. And I think it's because I literally have the least strong core ever. Not that I have the least strong core, but definitely like my core is my weakest link in the muscles of my body just because I never ever do abs. And today, if you guys saw in the little workout portion, I actually did abs at the end of my workout. Usually I just skip the ab portion. Like I do a lot of Sammy Clark workouts and she does a lot of abs at the end of her workouts and I usually skip them. Not to expose myself, but I just hate doing abs. I think because my back always hurts for them because I'm doing them wrong because I don't have a strong core. So my 2022 resolution is to add more abs into my routine just because for any type of workout, like your core helps with every single thing, walking, lifting, yoga, everything. So I really need to work on that this year, but my abs are literally already sore from the workout I did like three hours ago. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit today. It's super cute, I'm actually wearing real clothes. I feel like I haven't been getting dressed in cute outfits lately just because I kind of been enjoying just like wearing like lounge clothes and whatever. This is still not that dressy of an outfit, but it's a little bit cuter. So quick little outfit of the day, hat is Princess Polly. I love this color. I've been wanting to get the New York one, but it sold out everywhere, so this one will do. Also wearing Princess Polly trousers. These are in like the charcoal gray. And then this little bra top is like my new favorite top. I got it in a bunch of colors. It's from Aritzia. And then I was wearing my New Balance sneakers, but I took them off to do the coffee table. Okay, if you guys have been keeping up with my grocery hauls since pretty much like the new year, I started doing grocery hauls in a little bit different way where I show you guys exactly like what meal I'm going to eat with each ingredient. I feel like it's just like a way better way for you guys to actually like visualize how many use all my groceries. So let's start with breakfast. I didn't really need to pick up that much for breakfast. I already have like oats, sourdough bread, a bunch of stuff already in my fridge. So I actually stopped at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So this is kind of a mix. Got some coconut yogurt for my smoothies restock on my almond milk. I used to be obsessed with these and I haven't had them in forever and I really, really like them. So I got two of those, my favorite raw almond butter from Trader Joe's. And then I got a cucumber. I'm gonna put this in like my smoothies. A bunch of apples. I love snacking on apples with almond butter. So that's why I had to get this. Some lemons. Hi, Coco. <laughs> Some sumo oranges. These are my favorite oranges. They're so good. I think that they're in season right now. So got two of those. And then over here, I got stuff to make some pesto pasta. This is one of my like go-to meals. Some chicken breast, some cherry tomatoes to go in it. My favorite spaghetti pasta. And then this is my favorite pesto. I get it all the time. And then all of this stuff right here is for taco night. So I got some cilantro, avocado, bell peppers, onion, my favorite taco seasoning, some more avocado, ground turkey, that's what the meat we're gonna use, the multi-grain late July tortilla chips, and then I also got 50-50 blend in case I wanna use like the leftovers as a salad throughout the week. And then I also got this huge jar of salsa because we always like to have salsa in the fridge, some pico de gallo, and then this. This is one of my favorite purchases from Whole Foods. It's a dairy-free queso, and it's pretty much made from cashews and then a bunch of seasonings, and it's so good on tacos and in like burrito bowls. A jalapeno for the guacamole, and then a bunch of limes. And then the last thing that I picked up, which I already tried because I've been dying to try these, they're the Hue Kitchen chocolate-covered almonds. They're literally the best thing ever. Very, very pricey but honestly kind of worth it just because the high quality snack or dessert. So finally got to try those. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up today. Let me know if you guys want to see these grocery hauls like weekly or if they get kind of repetitive, if you'd rather see them like once a month or something. Before you guys hate me for being repetitive, I promise I actually switched up my order tonight. We picked up Takaya, which if you guys haven't had Takaya before, it's literally the best food. One of my favorite pickup food. They just have a lot of really healthy options that make my stomach feel good and I love them. They, but it is like very spicy, so just beware if you're gonna try it. I usually get the salad, but I feel like I've been having it so much lately that I wanted to switch it up. So I got the fajita del rey bowl. I'll show you it when we sit down for dinner. And then we always get the chips and guac because it's so good. Okay, obviously if you guys watch my videos, you know I'm a huge dessert person, so I can't go to bed without having dessert. I'm telling you, these two products are honestly unreal. The Hue Kitchen chocolates I got today, you guys saw that. And then the Trader Joe's Little Bites. I'm gonna eat these while I watch a movie, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Reminder, just please don't compare yourself. Really only post these videos for meal inspo, and I would show my face right now, but I look crazy after taking a bath. But I love you, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.